what's good youtube back with another video uh today's video i'm gonna give you guys five things so five things uh that i love about trucking it's gonna be some i mean major key points for me i don't know if anybody else can relate obviously hopefully somebody else can relate to it but before we get into the video i need y'all to smash the like button uh also subscribe to the channel leave a comment whatever it is if you guys ain't got any questions any videos you want me to do uh let me know as far as sending me that in the comment section uh smash the bell uh, click the bell so you know i y'all can get the notifications when i do post like i said i'm gonna do a lot of truck videos so and also the other content i have you know as far as motorcycles uh the car my car i know a lot of people ask me about my car why i don't vlog my car uh i will be doing that as well so the car uh life just family obviously i'm gonna introduce my son to the channel so I'll explain all of that when I do do that as well. But uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm currently on the road, obviously I'm in my truck. You guys can see, driving another truck right here. Uh, first thing, number one, this is like my time to myself, you know, not, not saying that I need to be away from people or family, you know, anything like that, but it's my time to myself for me to like clear my head. Uh, it's, it, it, it's amazing to me, to be honest with you. You know, I come up with new ideas of, for the channel, come up with no, more ideas of what I want to do just with my life in general. Uh, as far as, like I said, I'm starting a business hopefully next couple months. One second, police. I'm back. Uh, I'm trying to start a business. I'm not going to tell you guys what the business is yet, but you'll see it. Uh, it should be interesting for the channel. So, like I said, rule number one, I mean, thing number one that I do like, uh, like I said, is just... I get to think, I get to be by myself. It's my alone time, come up with ideas and enjoy. I know I just get to enjoy it, you know? And I come up with a lot of ideas. I write down a lot of stuff. So, I, you know, I can check stuff off my list. I do do that as well. So, thing number two, uh, the scenery. I mean, right now I'm in Ohio. Uh, I get to just see, you know, I see a lot of cool trucks. I see a lot of just, you don't really see too much crazy stuff, but you just see like what's out in the open land. I see cows, horses farms you know all of that stuff uh, I get to see it like right now so you guys can see you don't really see much but I'm in uh like I said in Ohio I'm on 80 so you just see like it's just like I feel like this ties into my number one thing uh the scenery it also it just shows me like there's more you know out here than just the big city of Chicago that we, I live in you know what I mean uh shows me that there's land, you know? People who actually live out here, people probably are happy out here. Not necessarily that they have to be out here, but they want to be out here. Yeah, so like I said, the scenery is pretty dope. I get to see stuff, I go to Philly. So when I go to Philly, I get to see how Philly is. You know, it's kind of similar to Chicago, just the way it's set up as far as like the neighborhoods and stuff like that. And like uh, just being stuff around as far as like stores and food places, everything like that. Yeah, they have like obviously the same similar stuff as us not too far uh, it is a 12 hour drive a little over 12 hours to get to where i go as far as my other terminal uh but i like to drive like i said i get to think to myself that's one and the scenery is nice that's number two uh number three i like the challenge um i never you asked me a year ago honestly i would have never thought i'd be driving a truck right now i would have never even looked towards a truck you know i always thought it was like i'm like how are they doing this so I want to make a big shout out to my mom. Uh, she's another, you know, she, without her, I wouldn't have had a CDL, to be honest with you. Like, I wasn't working last year. Like, I had money and stuff like that, but I wasn't trying to, like, spend money as far as I had to spend, like, three, a little over three grand just to get my CDL. I wasn't trying to spend that type of money when I wasn't working, you know what I mean? So I didn't work for a whole year. Not due to the pandemic. I just chose to take a, a year off get you know myself together figure out what i want to do so that's another thing uh like i said shout out to my mom she paid for me to get my cdl and you know obviously the end goal with this is she wants to kind of get into a trucking business as well so maybe we'll do that but i, I gotta start my other businesses first uh just to set you know myself up set my family up set my son up his mom you know all of that stuff i gotta make sure i get that stuff taken care of too as well before I even think about because I love driving but like I don't see myself five ten years from now being a driver you know what I mean like I know a lot of people like this 
And like I said, it does help me clear my head, but I don't see myself doing that. So I do like, but back to what I'm me saying, I like the challenge. Uh, I didn't know I could drive a truck. I got in the truck, went to school. They t I didn't, when I got there, I was clueless. I'm like, I didn't know what to do. They, we had to basically pretty much learn on our own, which I kind of like, I'm glad I had to do that. I like met some people, some good friends, people I'm friends with to this day. Another one of my boys, I actually got a job uh, at the last company where I'm working at. He's still there. Eventually, hopefully I can get him over here. Um, I met him, we latched, we, leashed, we latched onto each other and we learned from each other. That's how it was. We learned from each other's mistakes. We learned to pre-trip together. We learned the truck from inside and out. Learned how to back up the truck. Learned how to drive the truck together. We did all that together. So it was like, it was cool. You get to meet people and actually learn with the person that you met there. You know, they didn't like split us up or anything like that. So that was pretty dope. So yeah, I learned to drive the truck now. It's like, it's, it's easy, you know? Uh, but also with the child, I love backing up the truck. It's amazing. It's fun. Get to back up the truck and you know, get out and you know, sometimes you might have a close call and think like, damn, am I too close on that? So I, I really don't, not to toot my horn, but I, I rarely ever have to get out. Uh, I don't think, honestly, I can say I probably got out once or twice and that would have been because I was backing into like a building with a garage door where, you know, I can't see what's inside of it because the sun may be shining. Any trucker that drives, you know, they any person that drives a truck, they know this. Sometimes the, sh the sun is shining too bright and you can't see so that's another thing uh like i said the challenge uh number four i mean trucks they we're we the king of the road you know like it makes you feel good you know like you're kind of controlling the traffic not to be like an asshole or anything but like when you control the traffic it's like not everybody's coming going 120 miles an hour and nobody's really trying to can't really cut you off because you're kind of going at your own steady pace and it's like there's another truck next to you and I'm passing that truck. You know, I'm not holding up the traffic, but it's less risk for anything to happen to me. If anything happened to another trucker, I may have to swerve. And honestly, might be saving some people's lives at the same time, because the ones that are speeding out here. So that's another thing. Uh, like I said, yep. Just, you feel, you feel good, like, you know, on the road. It makes you feel good. Number five, uh, I will say the money. Uh, I'm, anybody that knows me, closely you know i'm about my money so you know i'm not saying i only do this for the money which is part of the reason i do this i mean i'm basically getting paid to travel so yeah i'm basically getting paid to travel uh, i don't obviously you'll think like who wants to go to philly uh i mean have you ever been to philly that's the question you know what i mean like a lot of people can't say that they actually been to philly and i'm going through a couple states just to get there indiana ohio I go to Philly sometimes, I may have to go to New York. Uh, it just all depends on the workload that week. Um, lucky for me, I haven't really had to go to New York or anything like that, but it, it'll it come. And I enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? I get paid by the mile. Way more money than I make hourly anywhere, you know what I mean? So, like I said, I almost, I might say triple, but close enough, tripled what I was making over at my first job, so. Who can complain you know what i mean but the money's good so i do recommend getting cdls get your cdl you don't have to take the route i went uh i just paid so i can just you know i have to go through all the other leaps and stuff like that and i went with a good trucking company so get your cdl get you a truck or get to a company get a little year of experience six months whatever it is trucking is in high demand right now so go ahead and do that and enjoy it you make money you get paid every week and you i know for a fact nobody's out there just making nobody like you know that i'm not besides rich people and stuff like that your job your normal jobs nine to five they don't pay you you know a thousand dollars a week and i make like i said almost triple my income not that i should be telling you guys my income not that i really care to hide it but I almost triple what the, what i make just by going on on the road and i'm only going two nights so if you uh, haven't seen my other video, go check that out. And I explain like the seven things you should think about before getting into trucking. So it's helpful. I think I missed the point. Uh, my, the knowledge that I get out here. Yeah, so the knowledge, it's a big thing. This truck literally is a bag on wheels. Like I got, I know people that's making 10 bands a week just off their truck. You know what I'm saying? Granted, you gotta drive a little bit, but I know somebody that's local. 
and they making like five, six bands a week. So this truck is a bag on wheels. But I mean, I like, I like I said, the knowledge I learn a lot, which is still this is uh tying me into you know me thinking, learning. But I learn a lot out here by myself. I learn a lot. I learn the trucking game. I learn you know the roads, the highways. I learn how other truckers drive, their signals, their you know everything. They just it's a lot of good truck drivers out here, and it's a lot of you know just guys that just jump in the truck. And I'm not saying I'm the best truck driver, but I mean only doing this a year, I I learned a lot about trucking that I didn't know. So that's another big thing, the knowledge. Uh, so that's really like six things, but I'm gonna call it five. So yeah, that's kind of this is kind of the bag on wheels. It's kind of tying into what my business is gonna be. That's a hint. Wink, wink. Uh, those that know me, you know what it is. Those that don't know me, you'll see in the upcoming year. Stay tuned for that. Big things planned. And yeah, so it is what it is. I'm gonna end the video here. I don't keep you guys too long. Just make sure you guys smash the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you get the notifications when I do post. And um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. I'm, I might put a little B-roll footage in there. You might see it, you might not. But we'll see. And I'll catch you all in the next video. I'm gone.